Let's bring in Mike Huckabee, former Arkansas governor, Leo Terrell, constitutional lawyer and civil rights attorney. Both are Fox News contributors. And Nomiki Konst, host of The Nomiki Show and director of Matriarch, which supports progressive women running for Congress. Welcome to all of you. Uh, good to have you with us today. You know, um, Governor Huckabee, I want to start with exactly what David Spun ended with there. Because we have not heard from the president on this, and certainly he could be a voice of reason and of moderation. He is a Catholic, and there are these verbal attacks against the Catholic justices of the Supreme Court and potential for uh, demonstrations even inside Catholic churches in particular this weekend. So what do you think the president should do? I think he really should tell the people that this is not an appropriate form of protest. If they want to go outside the Supreme Court where these people work, that's fine. But going to their homes is inappropriate. It's, uh, it's dangerous. And it's not a precedent that we should start. And the president ought to be very forceful and say, this is the kind of thing that leads to a real insurrection where government agencies are prevented from doing their jobs. I, I found it very interesting that some of these people were talking about Catholic extremists, these six justices. Mm -hmm. Actually, what they are is faithful Catholics. I'm grateful that they're living out their faith, that believe that every human life has intrinsic worth and value, that there's no such thing as an expendable or disposable human being. I find it refreshing that their faith actually uh, means something to them. That's not extremism, that's faithfulness. You know, but by the same token, Leo, um, all of these justices, when they were nominees for the court, said that they would approach everything from a standpoint of whether or not it was constitutional and that they would leave their faith aside. So I would imagine that although you can obviously, as the governor does, recognize uh, the sincerity of their faith, we're also looking at justices who have a reputation for basing things on the law. And it, it would appear from this opinion that they look at this and say that there wasn't really a constitutional basis for Roe v. Wade and that these sorts of decisions are better off being decided by individuals in the voting booth at the state level. You're absolutely right. And let me just simply say, 30 years of being a civil rights lawyer and a constitutional lawyer. Let's be very clear. Roe v. Wade has no constitutional basis. There is no right to privacy to have an abortion in the Constitution. And what they're doing, they're basically allowing this to be sent back to the states where democracy, where people will get able to vote in 50 states. What is wrong with that? What is wrong with the right to vote on an issue such as abortion when it is not based on constitutional law? And that's what these justices, if that decision somehow becomes final, will return Roe v. Wade to the states where it belongs, not in the Constitution, not on the federal government, but to the states. 50 laboratories in a federal system, Martha. So, uh, Nomiki, Rachel uh, Carmona, who is the executive director of the Women's March uh, that we remember after President Trump was elected, she came out and she said this, we will be ungovernable until this government starts working for us, until the attacks on our bodies let up, and until the right for abortion is codified into law. So she's saying we will be ungovernable. What would you say to the individuals who are committed to, and protest obviously is an American right, and peaceful protest is absolutely an American right. Mm -hmm. But what do you say to those individuals who are considering going into churches, into masses this weekend, and potentially, you know, to the front steps of these justices' homes? Well, you know, they're not doing anything that isn't peaceful. Going into a church and expressing your feelings and walking and dressing a certain way is in in incredibly peaceful, especially if you are a member of that congregation, as they're calling for people to do. The majority of Catholics in this country support legalized abortion. The majority of Americans support Roe v. Wade, which, by the way, sir, was already ruled on <laughs> with the court that you supposedly respect so much. So uh, what you're saying now is that we should reverse a decision that was already ruled on and is supported by most Americans because there's a conservative movement that is well-funded 
with extremists, extreme right-wing conservative yes, justices shameful. that have been groomed shameful. for decades, for decades. Shameful. And this is not, shameful. I mean, if, if you're going to talk about the Constitution, yes, they can have their personal faith, but I don't want you to you're infringe wrong. your faith on me. Like, you're I wrong. don't infringe my you're faith wrong. on you. I am not wrong. You're this wrong. has been ruled on. It was ruled on You are on absolutely wrong. Martha, you know ago. what? She's are not a just, lawyer. We have to, I'm going to give Leo a chance to respond to this. Thank you. Let me just thank you. Thank you. Well, here, let him explain. Go, go ahead, Leo. Go, go back to the history. Go back to the history books. Check out Plessy versus Ferguson and Brown versus Board of Education. Respectfully, please, because story decisis does not applies only when they are a grounded basis of fact. This. Supreme Court has a logical constitutional right to reverse Roe v. Wade because of the absence they have a of right. law but does that, that mean supports that more it. Right Let me, than one the last other point. No, no, Supreme please, Court please. That ruled? Hey, listen, you, you're making you're making a misrepresentation that somehow women's rights will be eliminated. That is a lie because it will go back to the states: California, New I, York, I, Illinois. I did not be say honest. that, but I do Don't believe that. Be honest. I did not say Don't that, give but talking I do points. believe that. Why okay. do you hate women so much? I'm I sorry. Jump in. There's a there's an expression. You're very angry. Why do I hate women, why, why do I hate women so much? Ruled on. Why do you respect oh, this on. court more please. than the previous court? No, no Miki. That's I hate women. Just said. I, hate, I hate my mother. I hate okay, my, stop. I hate my sister. Right I hate women. Look at the angry man. Please. Man. Stop. Why are you so okay. mad? Why are you know so what? mad? It's not affecting your life. No, truth. my life. No, Miki. No, Miki. Stop. Okay. First of all, it's very insulting to say that someone hates women, okay? There's nothing that Leo has ever said or done on this show that would indicate that he hates women. So that's a completely unfair thing to this say. Is not and the fact of the matter is <laughs> No, the, the well, it, it, you know, there's a large percentage of people in this country who are supportive of this decision. 54% believe that abortion should be banned uh, after 15 weeks. A majority of those who were asked. So we just have to keep this, we, we gotta keep this conversation from degrading into you hate women or any other form of that. We have to be able to talk about it and we hope there'll be peaceful protests this weekend and that no one's uh, church services will be disrupted um, because that is certainly disrupting the peace. So we will see what happens. Thank you to all of you for being here. The governor, uh, Huckabee, Leo Terrell, and Nomiki Konst. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.